Welcome to our 5 Minute Fridays. Today we're going to talk about the Autodesk BIM Interoperability Tool. This tool is used to help architects, engineers, and contractors pull out some more information for their BIM workflows and their BIM models. Today we're going to talk about the Autodesk Model Checker. So clicking on here inside of our Interoperability website, we're able to download the Model Checker for Revit. As well, if we just scroll down a little bit more, we'll get some more information about it. But we're also going to download a Power BI uh, report template. So this is going to take that information that we extract uh, from our model using the model checker and put it into an easy to read format for us using Microsoft's Power BI. Inside of Revit here, we're going to select on our BIM interoperability tools. We're going to go to the setup button. And here you can look through a, a bunch of different libraries that have been pre-developed on some information uh, to extract from your model. So there's a Penn State BIM library here or BIM standard here, as well as some default ones um, that we can use. So we're just going to select the Revit 2023 one. We can toggle on and off different information that we don't want it to extract from our model. Um, or we can just select everything uh, that we wish for it to extract. So selecting on everything, we're just going to save, save and close. And now that we have that uh, setup set, we're going to now run our report. We can add different models to this report. So if we want to select additional models, we want to remove any models, uh, add all the links that are within models if we want to run them on the links as well and just don't include any linked files. In this case here, we don't really have anything else, so we're just gonna run our report. Give this a couple minutes to uh, work, and we'll be generated with a report at the end of it. All right, so our report has been generated. We're getting some information about our model. Um, it's checked out at about 58% accuracy, so there's some information in this model that we can um, look at review and you know possibly correct to to make the model a little bit better in its performance so taking a look at this report for example it's kind of hard to read in a way i mean if i just go under model performance i select file size this is great i can you know see it's 22 megabytes i can see the different warnings and such but again this is just giving me a generic report and it's not really pulling it into a nice dashboard so if you want this report into a, a viewable dashboard using you know power bi we can do that by uh, saving this file or this report out to excel and then bring it into the power bi template that we downloaded from the uh, the website at the beginning there so with that said we're going to save this out to excel So now with our file uh, saved in the location here, we're going to generate um, a report like this using that Power BI template. So opening up Power BI, you can download it uh, from your Microsoft uh, login. And after you download the report, it's just a matter of opening up the, uh, the report template. And once we open up this uh, report template, we're going to be prompted to load in the file location so you just have to copy and paste the file path here after we have our file path copied in we're just going to choose the load button and it's going to now generate all that information from our report into our power bi template this will give us some results that we can just save and later on when we go back and continue to work on the file we are going to be able to rerun the report and after we rerun the report, we are able to update this Power BI uh, dashboard. And uh, this dashboard can be shared with uh, project team members, wherever it might be on a shared drive. And it'll update uh, as soon as you guys refresh it with the latest model information. So you can see at a glance, it's, it's nice to look at. And it's given us some information inside of our project. You can always create your own power bi template or dashboard um, and utilize all this information that you can generate from these interoperability reports and that brings us to our conclusion of using the model checker tool for the bim interoperability tool set